the question that comes to mind is if these women are found guilty of things like this why are they still living with their husbands kings and queens your majesties welcome back to the channel thank you so much for always returning trust you and yours are well and you are loving yourself and others like always today i want us to look into this issue of the guinea um uh, president um actually arresting the wife because she was found guilty of um colliving with foreign bodies and moving out resources from the country this woman in question a lot has been put in place to protect her and i hope you all know that this woman was directly part of the the, the, the french police system so she served the french military police force <laughs> these leaders are married to agents spies and <laughs> you think that they don't know because some people are like oh uh, maybe um Numbuya is not aware that the wife is a spy or has a connection to the french government this is a woman of french origin that served the, the military police force of the French government. And she served up until 2017. Just look at the, 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 the time frame. How many years was in between 2017 to when he became president? And then as he came as president, he came in with this woman as a wife. So there is no way that Dumbuya would not know that the wife is connected to the French government. There is no way. And the fact that they always try to hide things that are connected to these women and their past is something that we need to ask questions about. If this people has nothing to do with betraying the continent of Africa, why is it that the moment something, if there is something about them, they come out to say it is a lie? The moment there's information about this woman that is leaked, they come to debunk it and say it's a lie, it's fake news, don't listen to it. Mm -hmm. They say don't listen to it, they discourage you from having interest in it. In short, they try their best to rule out that information on the media. Because they are protecting the image of these women and their interest as well. Because if people become so much aware of who these women are and begin to agitate the powers that the french government have in the continent of africa would forever be gone will it even forever be gone because as they are coming like i said as they are marrying into this 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 these countries they are having kids children <laughs> And then we complain why we have betrayers. We complain why we have betrayers. The president of Gabon also discovered, should I use that word discover? Because they are aware of these things. They know who their wives are. They know who they are married to. She was accused of directly involving herself in embezzlement of funds and colliding with the French government, just like this woman is accused. We heard, oh, he, uh, he was, she, she detained, she was detained, he arrested her, she was detained. But they said these things to the public just to calm the public. Were they really arrested and detained? These are the questions that we have to, you know, ask ourselves. Were they really arrested and detained? And why is it that they were not arrested and detained as they should? Some of you said they should divorce them. Dumbuya should divorce the wife. Uh, what's his name? Uh, the president of Gabon should divorce his wife. Divorce is not an option in this case. Divorce is not an option. It cannot be. Because the, the, the colonial masters will not even allow it. This is the best way to keep spying on a country. And keep her starting from that country. This is the best way to keep to continue uh, um, lording it over regions that you claim you have given freedom to. This is the best way. Giving them wives 
that are agents and who only work for the, the, the interests of the French government. The fact is that almost all uh, Francophone presidents are married to either white or biracial women. And this is something that we need to sit down and ha have a good talk. Something is going off with that region. I know every president in the country, the West have planted spies to every president around the continent, rather. The West have planted spies. But that of the Francophone nation is so obvious. And that's why these women could do things and go freely. They will do things and the, the husbands will say, okay, I have done this. I have tied her down by doing this. But they never divorce them. They never say, okay, the marriage is, is finished because you were involved in this. It's not just uh, the Guinea president alone that the wife has, is involved in, in acts like this. It also happened to the president, the first lady of Gabon, Sylvia. She was accused of embezzling of public funds and was also arrested. Okay? But never divorced, never asked to go, never sent packing. This boils down to how these leaders got their leadership. And it's not a coincidence that immediately these women marries our men, they try their best to have as much children as possible. <laughs> That's what they say. Politics, <laughs> geopolitics is something else. When the evolution of the Sahel started, remember the president of Guinea was also involved. There were four. And later on, there became three because we stopped seeing Dubuya with them. Okay? Of course, he knew how he got his leadership and they have warned him because he has a spy directly under his nose. The president of Côte d'Ivoire also married a biracial woman. Her name is Dominique uh, Katara. The president of Gabon, like I said, she also married uh, a woman of French descent. And the president of court, the, uh, what's it called, Ivory Coast, also has a woman of French descent as wife. And the list goes on and on and on. Before I take you to what Malema said some times back, which is of significance, I want us to listen to this. Someone said, I know some forms of white worship exist every, in every African country. Worship, war, like war, okay? But some are more extreme than others when it comes to, to it, especially the region in Africa. Some of my African friends from French-speaking or Francophone African countries have always told me that French slash Portuguese African countries are more color-struck than English African countries, and this just confirms it. That majority of the leaders in Francophone countries have wives who are of French origin. And this person said this, true. I have some Cameroon friends and I have heard that from them too. They worship the French a lot, especially in Ivory Coast, I heard. The issue is not that it's not the fact if something is wrong with it, but the fact that you can't have your cake and eat it too. If they want people to take them seriously as African leaders, then they should represent that in which they choose as wives. But when they choose women that are part of the community of their former colonizers, then nobody will take them seriously. We must be careful. Of French sponsored coups in Africa, where we think there is a revolution taking place in Guinea Conakry, only to find that there is a French puppet who seeks to replace those who were there before. There is nothing revolutionary about the Guinea Conakry uh, coup. We ought to separate that there can never be a revolutionary coup that reinforces French imperialism on African soil. 
anyone who comes into political office under the pretext that they are fighting a French puppet while knowing they are the French puppet themselves must be isolated by progressive pan-Africanists. Mind you, this is not just the French region that have these issues. The English region also have these issues. Okay? Some of these women are trained agents from these this foreign government bodies. And that of Dumbuya, the wife's oh, uh, a case, is out before your face. So for those of you who oh, uh, something is off with this story. How can this woman be this? How can this woman be that? You have heard it. And a lot of them, you can name them, a lot of them. I feel like we do this again so that we have some inner knowledge about what is going on in the, in the continent of Africa. Like I said in the other video, I just hope and pray that Dumbuya gets to see the realities before his face and realize that no matter what, his nation should be put first. His nation should be put first. Look at the Sahel that he started with. They have gone far. They are growing. Okay? This is just a swift, a swift move, move by Macron and his cohorts to just implant this woman there and make everybody feel like all is well. And he keeps extorting, using her to take, a, take out a, a goods and services, using her to take out mineral resources from the region. I hope we see things for what they are and see the realities behind what happens in the motherland. And do not be quick to term something fake. Because the moment they start pushing out the idea of fake news to you, you should, your head should click. Something is going on underneath. There is something going on. There is something happening that they don't really want you to get down to. And that's why they push this information is not true. Don't follow it. Fake news. <laughs> Look at Nigeria right now. I have a video about that. Maybe it will be tomorrow. The video will come up. When the American government started having some connection to, with, with Nigeria, with plans to push out their, their, their forces from the Sahel down to Nigeria, and the, the news busted out, what did the government say? They said it was fake news, right? So what happened after that? If you followed me, you knew what happened after that. Be careful. Do not be quick to say something is fake. Especially when it comes to politics. Anything that has come out to the public, there's iota of truth in that thing. We don't want to listen. We don't like hearing that. And I'll repeat it again. Whatever comes out to public about accusation of who, 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 or this, that happened. When it, when it has something to do with politics, do not be quick to say it is fake. Because the moment the government begins to push out the idea of fake news to you. Know that something has already started happening. It shows something had happened already. Leave your thoughts and opinion there at the section, and I'll see you in my next one. Until then, love yourself, love others. Stay safe, stay positive, always, your majesties. Bye for now.